my feet kind of smell it. <laughs> you get what you pay for in terms of the quality and the fit. When you see stuff like this, you have to pick it up straight away. It's just a side menu, man. <laughs> Hello friends, <laughs> welcome back to another video, welcome back to my channel, thank you, thank you so much for dropping by. I'm back with another recent pickup style of video today, pretty much going to go over three to four weeks worth of purchases that I've made here in the great city of Tokyo, Japan, going to be a mixture of new stuff, vintage stuff, sounds pretty good to me, right? <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's go! Okay, so first pickup, guys, is this beautiful vintage black leather sandal. Let's delve into the details, eh? So I actually picked this, these bad boys up from a shop called Flamingo. I was going to say Chicago. <laughs> Flamingo, guys, one of the branches in Harajuku, the old stomping ground. Really looking for an open toe kind of sandal for summer. I don't know about you guys, but uh, for me personally, you know, when it's a bit hot and I'm wearing shoes and I'm wearing socks, my feet kind of smell it. <laughs> no. What? They're so I kind of wanted something to give my feet and my toes a bit more breathing room. And when I saw these in Flamingo, these pretty much fit the bill in terms of what I was looking for. So as you guys may see, and I'll play some B-roll footage as well. You have a sort of a weaved kind of leather design. It pretty much goes all the way down up until the heel. There's a sort of a strap that kind of protects or covers the heel. This cost me around 4,800 yen, which I think is a pretty good bargain in terms of the quality. The sole seems pretty solid and the grip and the marking on the sole is, seems you know, it's still pretty as new as well, so can't complain. Yeah! Alrighty guys, so I know what you're gonna say in this next piece of footwear. You're gonna be like, hey bro, didn't you sell your Doc Martin 1461s at Ragtag for 4,000 yen in that video where you tried to sell stuff at New York Jones and Ragtag back in the day? And yes, <laughs> yes you are correct. Thank you for watching my other videos. Smart ass. I did sell my original pair of 1461s and I realized when I did that video, after I did that video, sorry, I didn't actually explain why I wanted to sell them and the main reason I wanted to sell them was the size they were just weren't too they were probably half a size or a size even too small and I lived with it I bed with it but I guess I was just kind of getting sick of it not really being a comfortable shoe to walk around and not being reliable to walk around a couple weeks ago I went to Flamingo and they had these on the rack and I was like wow they look pretty pretty as new very mint condition and they look very similar to the 1461 monochrome blacks that I just sold like a week ago so essentially guys i pretty much traded in my docks for 4,000 yen these ended up costing i think overall 10,000 yen so i ended up getting like a 40 percent technically getting a 40 percent type of trade-in discount and i pretty much these are worth i got these for 6,000 yen pretty much so i'm pretty happy with it what it do baby yeah um, as you guys may have seen from one of my previous vlogs i ended up picking up these bad boys these are the isimiyake on don't know how to say it on <laughs> On piece there, on piece there, white fit crop trousers that come in sort of a navy, navy colorway with a signature sort of pleats running down the garment. I won't delve into the details too much with these guys to be honest because there are a ton of really good review videos on YouTube already and I'll actually leave a link in the description box to, for you guys to check it out, I highly recommend them. In particular a couple videos, one from Ray Mia and another video from Josh Gaudo as well, two very awesome YouTubers that know this stuff to the core, so I definitely recommend checking those videos out. And I'm not just saying this because I it's an expensive pant, but honestly, as soon as I tried them on, they were probably the most comfortable pant that first of all, I've ever tried on, and second of all, that I've owned. So it is expensive. These, these bad boys cost me, I think 37,400 yen. So not the cheapest thing around, but honestly, you get what you pay for in terms of the quality and the fit. And it's just a steezy pant, man. <laughs> Very quickly though, I will say that there are two sort of side pockets on both sides. They're kind of weird, they kind of, you have to kind of go back a little bit to access the pocket. There is also a nice sort of drawstring, nice mini drawstring over on the front. And as you'd expect, just sort of an elastic type of waistband. Um, it's very, very comfortable and easy to put on as well. I ended up picking these bad boys up in a size 2, guys. I'm usually a size 30 or 32 in sort of a typical sense, size medium, I guess. And this pretty much fit me perfectly from both the waist and the type of wide and sort of crop fit that I was looking for. Moving on to the tops, and this bad boy right here is probably my favorite pickup I've made in a very, very long time. It is a vintage, all over print Chicago Bears, short sleeve button up, size extra large. Let's delve into the details, eh? So I picked this bad boy up from Chicago and Harajuku. I was looking for a long sleeve shirt, actually, and I don't know why, I just ended up browsing the Cuban section, the Aloha section, the Hawaiian section. 
but they're sort of genre. And this guy stood out. I was like, hey, that looks a bit different. Yeah. Um, and as you guys can kind of see, and I'll play a bit of B roll again, just comes in all these different sort of insignias that represent the Chicago, represent the Chicago Bears. You can see the Chicago Bears logo. The tag is a bit run down. It does say it's an NFL, I think it's an NFL um, sort of officially licensed kind of merchandise kind of pro product. I assume just feeling the material itself, it is a combination of my favorite material, rayon, maybe some silk and a bit of cotton to finish it off as well. It's very, very summery, very wearable. It's 6,000 yen, so not too cheap, but I think it's worth it just for the uniqueness of the design. Again, I don't really have anything like this in my wardrobe, and I wouldn't say I was looking out for it. Very impulse purchase, but honestly, when you see stuff like this, you have to pick it up straight away and I always get that feeling. I know when I see something like this, I do have to pick it up straight away and just collect it and, and, and just rock it. So, very happy. I'm a happy man! Next top that I picked up, guys, is this beautiful sort of Mandarin granddad collar long sleeve shirt that comes in a sort of a green vertical stripe running all the way down in the garment. Again, let's delve into the details, eh? This beautiful shirt is by a brand called Men's Company. Apparently, I have not heard of them before. Comes in an extra large, 100% cotton, super comfortable. And I guess the key details really, as you guys can see, are just, just that sort of Henley. Is it a Henley? I guess quarter, I guess you can call quarter button. It's kind of like a quarter zip with buttons, quarter button. I don't know. Quarter button, so there's four buttons right up to the top that finishes with that sort of classic granddad mandarin collar right there. Overall, this bad boy set me back 3,800 years. I think that's a steal for something of like this quality. The fit is amazing. It really fits my body perfectly and Definitely something I can sort of wear with my sandals or crop trousers and sort of more formal setting or a night out type of fit. So those are the items guys, about, what was it, two pieces of footwear, a pair of trousers, two shirts, one short sleeve, one long sleeve. Not too much damage done to the wallet this month, well technically yes because of the SM Yarkas, but <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that first part of the video, the recent pickups part of the video. Time is up. I don't have too much plans, guys, for the rest of today. Up until dinner time, I'm grabbing dinner with a friend. We're going to be going to Koreatown, actually, here in Tokyo. It's called Shin Okubo. This guy, is, his name is Hyun Woo. He's a colleague from work I haven't seen in a couple, oh, five months probably since Corona. So I'm just going to change quickly, guys. I don't really want to wear this. I kind of want to wear something a bit more lighter colored. This is a bit hot. So I'm just going to change, guys, and then make my way to Shin Okubo. Let's go! Six and a half hours later. Better than Shinokubo guys. Like I was saying before, first time here, so I'm pretty excited. It's a bit dark guys, sorry, but automatically it reminds me of Seoul. I've been to Seoul a couple of times and everything in Seoul, like the chicken and beer places, the small alleyways, the Korean barbecues. I feel like I'm in Korea right now, so it's pretty awesome. I'm actually gonna be going to a Korean style sashimi place apparently. So Hyunwoo's gonna take me there. I'm gonna walk to the restaurant now. See how it goes, eh? Hey guys, we're in a restaurant. I'm in Koreatown right now with a friend of mine, Hyun Woo. Hi guys. <laughs> we're at a place called Hyun Dae, specialized in like Korean seafood. We've got a good spread right now. Crazy seafood, some salad. I don't know what that is. Tofu. Corn salad and corn. Is it corn, corn, corn salad. Kimchi okonomiyaki yeah. and of course, soju for the boys, you know. So apparently this isn't even a uh, full menu. This is only the side menu. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this, guys. I'm gonna try a bit of the sashimi. This is a side menu, man. Oh. Gonna try some abalone. Look at that. Mm. Pepper? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's technique. That's the technique right there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We're still in the side menu. This, 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 this cake. It's crazy. 
I can die now. So the main course is here, guys. <laughs> Fish. <coughs> Soy sauce. Cheers. Come by. It's ridiculous. What do you What do you like about Japan? What's your favorite thing about Japan? Sashimi. <laughs> yeah. Sashimi. Yeah. That's why I'm here. That's why you're here. That's why you moved. Yeah. That's why I'm here. I've been in Tokyo for nine months. <laughs> it's probably the most enjoyable meal I've had in nine months. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. No words. Hontoni, hontoni, sugoi, suburashi, yabai, maji de o, oishi, umai. Oh my god. You gotta check this place out. If you ever come to Tokyo, you ever come to Shinokubo? This is a spot, man. <laughs>